Hey guys! So for this next project, we're going to be making a succulent garden. And so basically, as you know from the presentation, succulents are plants, right? Usually they're smaller. They can grow to be really big though. Um, I have a ton of them at home. I have cacti, I have aloe vera, um, and I have some of the ones that are called echeverias. So what we're going to do today is start to draw um, our actual succulent garden. Now in Schoology, I have placed some handouts that'll give you some different ideas of different types of succulents you can draw, what they look like, to help guide you in case you're just really unfamiliar with them and you're like, I don't know where to start. So for today, I'm going to be using a white paper and I'm going to be using um, a black bingo dauber. So basically this is like a thing that you would play bingo with and mark your card with, except I filled it with black ink. If you don't have that, because I know that not everyone has these at home, you can definitely just use a black Sharpie marker. That's totally fine. And if you don't have a black Sharpie marker, you could use a black crayon. Um, since we will be painting, if you plan on painting, I would not use like a Crayola um, or non-permanent black marker. You probably want something that's permanent because you're going to be wetting it. So I would say black crayon, or a permanent marker. So when um, I use the bingo dauber, I'm just gonna untwist the cap. It's like a little sponge. It's gonna be a really thick black line. Yours will look a little thinner, but that's completely okay. So I'm gonna start with the shape of my pot, and I think that's where you probably should start too. Remember, yours does not have to look anything like mine. Mine is just here to guide you and get you started, okay, if you're not sure how to begin. And now I'm gonna make a little Echeveria. So I'm gonna make two leaf shapes and feel free to pause the video wherever you need to. And then I'm gonna add a third. And this one we're gonna kind of act like is hanging off the edge of the pot, which is why I didn't draw the top rim of the pot just yet. And I'm gonna to start to add petals in between the three that I just made, okay? So I'm just going right in between them. I do love these though, because they just, they're nice and smooth and the ink is nice and dark. All right, my friends. And then back here, I'm gonna put um, a little aloe plant. So that's like the stuff you use if you ever get some sunburn. You might have used aloe vera gel. They even sell like aloe vera um, juice that you could drink. My husband really likes that. He loves like coconut water too. I'm just not a fan of it because of the little pieces in it. It's not my thing. <laughs> now I'm gonna put little lines on this just for decoration and again guys mine is just here to be an example yours can look totally different i always love um i got this project once before one year and i love seeing what like my kids came up with and then over here i'm going to put a cactus i've got a really um large one at home i've had it for i think like three years now and it's getting really, really tight in its pot, which means I have to replant it, but it's very spiky. So I'm not quite sure how to do that. <laughs> My son sometimes, you guys know he's little, he's only like two and a half, and he every now and then touches the cactus. And he's like, the cactus, poke me. And I'm gonna do the top here, and we're like, why did you touch it? It's just like this tempting little thing for him to mess with. <laughs> and he's like, the cactus hurt. And I'm like, it sure does. <laughs> I would not want to get poked by it. All right, my friends. Put some little pokers on it, spikes. And now I'm just gonna decorate my pot so let's see, we're gonna do zigzag, and you could decorate yours however you want. I know I always say that, but I want you guys to always know that 
Mine is just a guide. I never want students to feel like mine has to be what yours looks like. I'm actually gonna fill this in since it's the inside of the pot so it looks like the inside. And then I'm gonna put the, the table line. And I might do like diagonal stripes on my table. All right, my friends, that is where I'm going to stop for today. And then next week, we'll talk about highlighting different areas and then uh, painting. All right, my friends, have fun.